Hello friends, good morning and welcome to the channel. Today in this video, I will show you how to swap OS disk in Azure VM. So basically, if you want to change your OS disk for your existing VM or any perspective like suppose you have a backup OS disk, you want to you want to now swap it with the original one. How you are going to do that when you have this type of requirement? It is very simple to do that and this is the topic we are going to discuss as part of this uh, video tutorial. Now, as part of this video tutorial, we will discuss two approaches to do this, okay, using Azure portal and how we can use PowerShell commands or PowerShell script to swap the OS disk in your existing Azure VM. Now, without making any delay, what we will do, we will navigate to Azure portal and i will show there how we are going to do this using azure portal right let me go there can i able to see here i have already logged into my azure portal and here i will search for uh, virtual machines and you can able to see i have one virtual machines where i am going to swap my os disk right so just click on that and make sure it is in stop uh, set and my virtual machine is already stopped or deallocated. You can able to see the status here, stop and deallocated, right? So make sure that uh, before swapping the uh, OS disk, uh, the status is stopped or deallocated for the safer side, right? And the next step is uh, what you can do from the left navigation, click on the disk, disk link, right? And you can able to see here, there is the option called shop OS disk, right? So before that, you can able to see this is the OS disk and the OS disk name is Azure Lessons VM disk one, right? So this is the existing OS disk I have. And now I'm going to you know, swap uh, the OS disk with a different one. Okay, but I will I will just show you. Okay, and uh, just before that, you just make sure that you remember this name. I just Azure License B A underscore disk one is the existing disk for us, right? So to swap the OS disk, what you can do? Just click on this swap OS disk link, and the moment you will do, you can able to see here this huge disk option right what it is telling select an existing disk okay so here you have to click and choose the disk one so now i want to change it to this one right azure lessons bm2 okay um, uh, underscore uh, disk one right so earlier i was having azure lessons bm underscore disk one right so this was the earlier disk. You can just cross check it here once more time. You can able to see here this is Azure Lessons BM underscore disk one, right? Now click on the swap OS disk and select an existing disk. This time we'll select this one, Azure Lessons BM2 underscore disk one, right? Click on that, just select that. And to confirm the swap uh, process, what you can do, you can you just need to retype this uh, virtual machine name so better i will copy the name and i will press it here then you just click on ok and you are done so you can able to see here what it is telling swapping the os disk it will just take few seconds and it will successfully you know, swap your os disk with the new one you can able to see here was this swap complete now you just see here that Azure Lessons BM2 underscore disk one. That means the new one, new disk has been added as our OS disk now, right? So if you are not getting that also, you can just click on the refresh button once and it will you will able to see the uh, new changes, right? The recent changes. So now we have successfully, you know, uh, swap our OS disk. So this is the way you can use Azure portal to of the OS. Now, uh, the second approach we will see, we will uh, 
change or swap the OS disk from this Azure Lessons VM2 underscore disk one to Azure Lessons VM underscore disk one. Earlier, which one was there, right? Previously, but we are going to you know, swap it again and we will see how to do that using PowerShell this time, okay? So now we can able to see here this is Azure Lessons VM2 underscore disk one. Now what I'll do, I'll navigate to PowerShell and I have already written the command just to show you guys. So I will just explain here a little bit, zoom it. So uh, you can able to see here, this is our uh, PowerShell script, the commands I have written. So first thing is get your virtual machine details. So this is the uh, variable and we are uh, using get az get hyphen azbm or shell command with the parameter resource group name that the vm belongs to and the name of the virtual machine this is to get the virtual machine details then what we, we need to do is we need to stop the uh, azure vm that uh, i told you already right so this is uh, actually optional but you should do it for the safer side okay so what you can do the, uh, you can use this top hyphen Azure VM along with this uh, resource group name parameter, okay. and then the name of the uh, VM and with this force uh, parameter, right, to stop the Azure VM. Now the next uh, command is this is the new disk uh, variable name. This is the uh, retrieve the new disk details, right? The disk you want to stop, right? The new one. So basically we are uh, retrieving that particular disk details okay so we are using get hyphen as a disk uh, or shell command with the parameter resource group name that the disk belongs to new disk belongs to and then the name of the that particular uh, disk right the new disk that we are going to swap so this is you can able to see your azure lessons bm and the existing whatever we have now is bm2 right so we are again going to swap it with this Azure Lessons VM. Okay. Now the uh, next thing is configure your VM to point to the new OS disk. For that, what you need to do set AZVM OS disk is the command. Here we are passing the VM. Okay. The VM details that we got already. And then the uh, disk details, disk ID with this manage disk ID parameter and the name of the that particular disk okay and the uh, last step is update your virtual machine with the new disk right so for that we are using update hyphen azbm parcel command okay and then parameter is resource group name and then uh, the resource group name of that particular virtual machine that belongs to and then the uh, vm okay which vm we are going to update right so my VM is the uh, the VM details again, right? So basically these are the uh, commands we need to execute. So I have already written one uh, article on this also for these commands and all. You can directly, uh, I'll put that article link in the video description. You can just uh, you know check that article and uh, copy these commands and change the resource group name and uh, name of the VM and disk name, etc. as per yours. So now let me execute this command so that I can show you that it is working as expected, right? So let me just run it. And it will just take few seconds and it will execute completely. Then we will go ahead in the Azure portal and we will check whether it is done or not. So this time the disk should change to uh, Azure Lessons VM underscore disk one, right? Now if you'll see here, what it is there is bm2 right so after the execution we, it should be a bm underscore disk one right so let me go there and you can able to see it is already executed successfully without any issue okay so let me now go to the portal and uh, we will just refresh it and we will see so i'll just click on the refresh button and you can able to see the Azure Lessons BM underscore this one now. Okay. So this is how you can use the PowerShell script also to swap your OS disk for your existing Azure Virtual Machine, right?
So basically, we have discussed uh, two approaches to swap OS disk of your Azure virtual machine. One is using Azure Quota, and the second approach we discussed using the PowerShell, right? So that's it for today. I thought to show you quickly, you know, how to swap your OS disk for your Azure virtual machine or the existing Azure virtual machine using uh, two approaches. So we have discussed how we can do using Azure portal, as well as uh, how, what is the power scale script we can use to swap the OS disk for your existing Azure virtual machine, right? So thanks a lot for watching this video. If you like the video, kindly subscribe to our channel so that you will get lots of free uh, Azure tips as well as different helpful PowerShell commands and helpful Azure CLI commands as well. Thanks a lot and have a nice day. Bye-bye.